Welcome back to Infigan, my dear friends. In this video, we'll be solving another very, very interesting question from radical mathematics. We have to evaluate cube root. So let's get started. I will assume this expression equal to x. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So cube root will be over with cube. Now I can consider x cube equal to, let's say this is a this rational expression b, this rational expression c. So x cube equal to a plus b plus c. Let's simplify separately. So I will write a 20 over square root 29 plus a square root 9. Now we will rationalize our denominator. So a square root 29 minus a square root 9 will multiply in the numerator and in the denominator. Now in denominator, we have a plus b times a minus b form. So we can use difference of two squares identity. Numerator will be as it is. Denominator we can write a square root 29 whole square minus a square root 9 whole square. Now square root square will be over. So denominator will become 20. So a will be 20 times square root 29 minus square root 9 over 20. Now we will cancel 20 with 20. So a will come out root 29 minus root 9. Now we will simplify b. So I will write 25 over root 29 plus root 4. Let's rationalize denominator. So we will multiply our numerator and denominator with denominator's conjugate which is root 29 minus root 4. Again we are having a plus b times a minus b form in the denominator. So I can write 25 times root 29 minus a square root 4 over root 29 whole square minus root 4 whole square. The square root and square we will cancel in the denominator. So denominator becomes 29 minus 4 which is 25. So we can cancel 25 from the numerator. So I will write 25 times the square root 29 minus the square root 4. This is our numerator over 29 minus 4, 25. Now we will cancel 25 from numerator denominator. So root 29 minus root 4 is our expression B. Now we will simplify C. So I will write C equal to 80 over root 116 plus square root 36. Let's rationalize denominator. So square root 116 minus square root 36. Square root 116 minus square root 36. So denominator, we will write square root 116 whole square minus square root 36 whole square. And numerator will be 80 times square root 116 minus square root 36. Again, we will cancel square with square root. So this time denominator will be 80, 116 minus 36. And in the numerator we will have square root 116 minus square root 36. So 80 and 80 will be over. We will get simplified C as square root 116 minus square root 36. Let us write x cube. A plus B plus C. A was square root 29 minus a square root 9. B was a square root 29 minus a square root 4 and C is a square root 116 minus a square root 36. 
now we can write square root 9 as 3 square root 4 as 2 square root 36 as 6 so i can write x cube will be equal to square root 29 plus square root 29 so i will write 2 square root 29 from these two minus 3 minus 2 plus square root 116 we can write 4 times 29 and minus square root 36 this is 6 so if i will add these three numbers we will get minus 11 let us write here but before that friends if you are an olympiad aspirant or planning to do preparation for sof crest unicus silver zone asset indian talent olympiad hummingbird from grade 2 to grade 10 then olympiad success offers you live interactive sessions pyqs tests and many more please check out the description box for further details and use referral code gyan15 to get 15 percent discount now let's come back to our problem x cube was 2 root 29 minus 11 then we'll write a square root of 29 times 4 this was square root of 116 so i can write 2 root 29 minus 11 this 4 will come out from this square root as 2 so we'll write 2 root 29 so ultimately we are having x cube 4 root 29 minus 11 now i will use simon's favorite factoring trick so I need to multiply both sides by 8. So I will write 8x cube equal to 8 times 4 root 29 minus 11. Now I will expand RHS. LHS we can write 2 cube times x cube. RHS will be writing 32 root 29 minus 88 now 2 cube times x cube we can write 2x whole cube using exponential properties now rhs we can write 32 as 29 plus 3 so 29 root 29 plus 3 root 29 and minus 88 we can write minus 87 minus 1 now I will rearrange the terms in RHS. So let me write here once. I will write 29 root 29 plus 3 root 29. Then minus 87 minus 1. LHS was 2x whole cube. Now I will write 29 root 29. Then we will write minus 1 then we'll write minus 87 then 3 root 29 so 29 root 29 this is root 29 whole cube minus 1 we can write 1 whole cube so a cube minus b cube minus 87 we can write 3 times root 29 a square times 1 so 3a square b 3 times 29 is 87 plus 3 times root 29 times 1 square. So if I will consider root 29 as A and this 1 as B, so I can write here A minus B whole cube formula which will be equal to A cube minus B cube minus 3A square B plus 3AB square. So our LHS is 2x whole cube, RHS is root 29 minus 1 whole cube. For real values of x, we will take cube root both sides and get 2x equal to square root 29 minus 1. Now we will divide both sides by 2. So this 2 and 2 will be over. 
we will get our final answer x equal to square root 29 minus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself and goodbye.